Hi everyone, this is Kathy Mason from Mason Works, and I'm very excited today. I'm here with Mary Stevenson, who wrote a book called Following Over Reno. And she wrote the book in only a long weekend, a three and a half day weekend with Tom Bird. So Mary, how are you doing today? Good to see you again, Kathy. Yes, yes. Well, Mary used to live here in Boulder with us. And I got to spend some time with her when she was here, but now she lives in Sedona. But um, Mary, I'm, I'm so excited to find out about what you're doing now and all about all the fun things that are in your life since you've written this book. So um, what's going on? Well, you know, I have lived in Boulder, as you said, for 18 years. And uh, many of your listeners may know me as the Vedic Astrologer that I've been for 26 years. I've also worked on Intuitive Counseling Hotline for 20 years. Wow. And yeah, that's my... That's so cool. That's my gift is I'm able to do various kinds of readings and, and I've always been dedicated to helping people in that way. And so it was really kind of amazing to me. I always follow inner guidance. I knew I wanted to go somewhere warmer although I miss all my dear friends in Boulder so much. But, um, you know, in May of 2014, I moved to Sedona. And after being here just three months, I was attending Unity Church of Sedona, and I saw this poster that Tom Bird was giving a free lecture about write your best seller in a weekend. And I just felt a draw, and I went there, and he gave us all a taste of writing from this right brain author within state. And since I'm so familiar with various levels of energy, I've been practicing transcendental meditation for 42 years, and I've been a TM teacher for 40 years. Wow, I didn't know. Very familiar with everything to do with energy. And um, I thought, whoa. So when he got us into that state, and my pen started going off the paper, when we counted our words, I was writing at a rate of 2,380 words an hour. Oh, and my God. Yes. And the book that had been in me for 42 years started flowing out. And I had this epiphany. And this wave of peace of mind came over me. And I thought, oh, my goodness. This is why the universe had me move here to meet this man and write this book. And so my book is titled Falling Over Reno, The True Story of the Skyjacker's Wife. So this is my true story. And while I was on the three and a half day retreat, which they're all held in beautiful Sedona here, which is magical with all the vortexes, um, I did, what happens is the story flows out of you and it's complete. But when you're writing nonfiction, if you come to a point that you know you want to insert something, a quote, research, or in my case, letters from prison. Oh my gosh. I had to, you just skip two lines, you write the word insert, and that keeps the flow going. Oh. So we all start out writing longhand, and by the second day, we get to switch to our laptops, you know. And so in my case, because it was nonfiction and there were things to insert, the uh, finishing the revision process took another two months at home. But the story was complete Wow! in the three and a half days. Wow. And and your book's an Amazon bestseller as well, right? That is correct. Oh, and tell me about that process. Is that part of what Tom offers too? That is correct. And when I uh when I was at that introductory talk, I just I just knew, okay, I'm doing the retreat. I'm signing up for his published now program and I'm signing up for his bestseller author program. So bada bing, bada bang, bada boom, I did it all. And on the first day of my six-day hard launch, it's called, my book made a bestseller in two categories on Amazon in the Kindle bookstore because everybody's buying ebooks these days, you know. Mm -hmm. And so my two categories were social theory and grief and loss. Mm -hmm. So I experienced for myself, hey, this system works, so I'm sharing the news with my friends now about it. Oh, my gosh. And with that, I, I have to say it's it's – so divinely inspired this whole work um and it's so important for people to process their story right now so that they can grow from it and um also help others so that they'll be courageous enough to go through and grow through their stories so oh that is so wonderful well, thank you mary is there anything else that you'd like um 
anyone that's going to hear this wonderful video to know about coming to the, uh, there's free events in, in Colorado. Um, is that how you started as well? Yes, it's the free uh, two and a half hour introductory class. And then you get it, that taste of it yourself. When people are actually on the retreat, most people are writing at least 2,000 words an hour. We start at 4.30 in the afternoon, that first day, Thursday, goes to 9.30. From Friday and Saturday, you're meeting at 7.30 in the morning to 6.15 at night. And on Sunday from 7.30 in the morning till about 2.30 in the afternoon with meal breaks. That is how you can write a whole book because the average first book by an author's length of a book is 35,000 words. So all you got to do is do the math. That is fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, I, I know he must be a very special person. This, the, the fact he can create a field to call in the divine like that and create a field for people to be in a safe space, to write their story and go through it um, and, and open up their hearts again. Okay, because that's what the whole process is, isn't it? Such a good point you make, Kathy. And his newest book that he wrote is called Write, Write from God. And he actually shares in there, um, you know, talk about being vulnerable. And, and yeah. that, that's how we help others. When we are able to overcome our fears and tell our own true story. And he told about how when he was young, his mother, who had some kind of personality disorder, tried to kill him. <gasps> And he, uh, at some point, fell on his knees to God, asking for the right way to not only bring his books through, but to help others. And this has become his mission. And it was downloaded to him the next day, this method. So you're so right that this is a unique um, gift he was given to help get us all into what's called the right brain. Oh my gosh. Well, what an opportunity. I'm so excited to meet him. And, and Mary, thank you so much for helping my audience know what, what to expect. And I just hope, friends, that as many of you as possible that can come to one of the, the free um, lectures that he's having. And there's, um, there's quite a few of them. I think there's one, two, three four, five, six. It looks like there's about six of them in Colorado um, between uh, Denver and Boulder. So please, please take a chance and give yourself the gift of this. Is that correct, Mary? It's a gift, isn't it? It is. You'll be, you'll be glad. You'll be thanking us later. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's also the world needs us now. This is really a very important uh, time in humanity's existence and as many of us as can wake up and to help each other the better that's that's my my role i feel so well wonderful well thank you mary and uh hope to see you soon yes and thank you for your wonderful work kathy it's oh, with you. thank you bye bye, -bye.